10 Simple Nutrition Tips to Help Improve Your Health from Today Recognizing that nutrition and activity play a key role in successful lifelong management of your weight and health is an excellent first step in making positive changes. Though breaking bad habits can seem daunting, here are 10 changes you can make to your nutrition to get started today. Switch from sugary beverages like soda, juices, sports drinks, sweet tea, lemonade, and to water or zero-calorie drinks. People who often drink sugary drinks are more likely to face health problems, such as weight gain, obesity, type 2 diabetes, heart disease, cavities, and gout, a type of arthritis. Sugary drinks can increase your risk of serious health problems. Alternative sweeteners and zero-sugar sweetened drinks can be part of your plan to reduce added sugars, but don't get carried away. Just because something has no calories or sugar doesn't make it healthy or even beneficial in the long run. By replacing these drinks with water, you are able to hydrate your body, thus speeding up your metabolic rate and leading to faster burning of calories. Plus, Water helps regulate and manage blood sugar levels keeping fatigued, lethargy, and sugar cravings at bay which further promotes good health. Water is the best choice for quenching your thirst. Coffee and tea, without added sweeteners, are healthy choices, too. Some beverages should be limited or consumed in moderation, including fruit juice and milk. Trade potato chips or cookies for non-starchy vegetables such as carrots, celery, sliced cucumber, baby tomatoes, or pepper wedges. The sodium content in chips may negatively impact your cardiovascular health. A high intake of sodium can cause an increase in blood pressure, which can lead to stroke, heart failure, coronary heart disease, and kidney disease. Eating foods that are high on sugars, fats, calories and sodium lead to a higher risk of developing hypertension, heart diseases, diabetes, certain types of cancers, obesity, even asthma. If you stop consuming these foods, your overall health condition will definitely improve and you'll avoid these risks. It's best to cut them out of your diet and replace them with much more healthier snacks. Schedule three balanced meals per day, filling half of your plate with non-starchy vegetables. Plan to eat breakfast within an hour of waking. This way, your breakfast doesn't blend into a mid-morning snack or grazing followed closely by lunch. Lunch should be about four to five hours after breakfast. For example, if you ate breakfast at 7 a.m., eat lunch between 11 a.m. and noon. Dinner should be eaten around 7 p.m. and you shouldn't eat anything two hours before sleeping. It is important to stay on a healthy diet and keep your plate full of non-starchy vegetables. Ultimately, a diet rich in vegetables can help lower blood pressure, improve heart health, and have a positive effect on blood sugar. For maximum health benefits, fill half your plate with non-starchy vegetables. Non-starchy veggies are higher in fiber and lower in carbohydrate than starchy veggies. This means they fill you up, which can help with weight loss and have little impact on for those managing diabetes. Bake, broil, boil, or steam foods instead of frying. Broiling cooks food by exposing it to direct heat, which requires little or no oil and thus reduces calories in your dish. According to Daily Health, each tablespoon of oil used for frying adds more than 100 calories. While baking and frying use heat to penetrate and cook foods thoroughly, 
These dry cooking environments often deplete food of its natural nutrition. However, steaming will heat food fibers without depleting their natural nutrition. Baking is a healthy option, as you generally need little or no oil, for example, chicken, fish and vegetables can be baked in greaseproof paper or foil parcels with a little water or reduced salt stock. Also grilling and roasting are a good way to cook food, and it tastes delicious too. Reduce portions of meats and high-fat foods. Some meats are high in saturated fat, which can raise blood cholesterol levels if you eat too much of it. The health benefits of reducing your meat consumption are significant. Eating less meat has been found to decrease the chances of developing certain cancers, heart disease, stroke, diabetes, kidney disease, liver disease, or lung disease. Remove the skin from poultry and trim the fat from meats. The skin of chicken and turkey is high in fat, so many people remove it to save on calories. When you prepare raw chicken for cooking, remove as much of the fat as possible to make your entree healthier. Although a small amount of fat might help impart flavor to the cooked chicken, removing the visible fat will reduce calories. Since the skin contains mostly fat, this part of the bird can be highly toxic when eaten. If you know that the chicken has been reared well, however, then go ahead and consume the skin, but do so in small amounts. Eat fish twice per week. A healthy, balanced diet should include at least two portions of fish a week, including one of oily fish. That's because fish and shellfish are good sources of many vitamins and minerals. Eating fish once or twice a week may also reduce the risk of stroke, depression, Alzheimer's disease, and other chronic conditions. Avoid fast food restaurants. Fast foods contain a large amount of added sugar in them, which results in extra calories. Also, foods like pastries, pizza, cookies etc. are rich in trans fat. Trans fat increases the body's bad cholesterol level and reduces good cholesterol level. In the short term, fast food impacts blood sugar and blood pressure, increases inflammation, and may mean an individual does not eat enough necessary nutrients. In the long term, a diet rich in fast food could lead to issues with digestion, immunity, inflammation, heart health, obesity, and more. Substitute low-fat yogurt in a recipe for sour cream. If you want to create healthier baked goods or just want a simple substitution, use an equal amount of yogurt in place of the sour cream. Whole milk yogurt works best and brings a big reduction in fat, plus more protein and calcium. Greek yogurt can be used as a substitute for sour cream in dips, dressings, and toppings. Additionally, equal parts of full-fat Greek yogurt can be used in place of regular sour cream in any recipe, including baked goods. Greek yogurt is a strained yogurt that has a thick texture similar to sour cream. Swap sugary coffee drinks for freshly brewed black coffee. If you are looking to lose weight, then you should definitely have black coffee as it has comparatively lower calories than coffee with milk and sugar. A cup of black coffee has just 4.7 calories while a cup prepared with milk and sugar has 56.6 calories. The healthiest way to drink coffee is plain with nothing added, also known as drinking it black. Starting with just one or two of these tips can make a huge difference in your health. In addition to these nutrition tips, it can be helpful to change your perspective about diet, activity, and weight loss. First, recognize that weight loss is slow motion and takes hard work and time. 
Your health doesn't change overnight, but your decisions about your health can. Allow yourself to make changes gradually. You don't have to become a pro chef and run a marathon tomorrow. Start today by making a few simple changes in your diet. For exercise, you can start as simply as walking five days of the week for 30 minutes. If you can convert some of these tips into habits, you're making progress. Well, thank you for watching our video on daily health and don't forget to subscribe. Good luck.